Mary, mm -hmm. you've scored another point for the women's team today. Two out of two. Yep. How are you feeling? <laughs> feeling great. Um, to be honest, I'm still finding my rhythm, like um, in my daily routine with all the jet lag and stuff. Uh, but I'm happy I'm off to a, a good start and I'm just hoping to contribute as much as I can to the team. Yeah. How about today's game? What happened? I think it was it was quite strategical. Uh, there was really, you know, not much going on in the opening and the early middle game. But then uh, my opponent started um, making some concessions to the position and I was trying to... Uh, in the end, I was trying to make some pawn storm in the in the king's side, and then it went successfully. So and and he started making mistakes again and here and there. So I could convert it to a victory. Okay, let's look at key point in the game. Thank you. So yeah, it was it was starting out as a Nimzu Queen's Indian type position, and um, I was actually preparing for. First move e4 even, you know, because uh, the players here, they don't only have one opening repertoire, they have like various, so that's why there was some hardship in the preparation. But anyway, uh, out of 11, 12 moves, yeah, in this position after, after he played queen d3. So white has an isolated queen's pawn here. Uh, and I think what's planned after that is like probably knight e4, trying to make a battery with the queen and the bishop towards my h7 square. And um, I thought in this position, black has to do something, you know. Uh, of course, my homework is about my bishop on c8. It's not developed yet, whether it stays on this diagonal or whether I should make some preparation like a6, b5, bishop b7. Uh, but in this position, I was trying to clarify the position as soon as I can, so that's why I played e5 here. Um, and in this position, I thought for quite a while, okay, before I played e5, because there was some idea of yeah. uh, sacrificing yeah. on a6, this is quite, uh, it's looking dangerous, but I think if if we continue, there was actually nothing much Ooh. for, yeah, there was nothing much for white in this position, like after queen a6, then h7, knight e4, and I just have to, go back with my bishop and then, yeah, it's all right. Bishop c7 and then if bishop uh, yeah. d3, trying to attack my knight on h7, I can just close yeah. it with f5. It's like a really nice position yeah. for me. So, yeah. um, and there was also some other variation corresponding to it, but um, in my calculation, there was really nothing uh, if, if white going for this type of sacrifice. Yeah. So that's why he pushed this d5 and then after that, it was just uh, pretty much pretty strategical. I was trying to consolidate my position with my uh, pieces. Like, okay, knight g3, I play a6, uh, not actually wanting to play uh, b5, but okay, he played a4 to stop it. And then knight g6, yeah, I was just, you know, even though this already middle game, I'm trying to um, develop my pieces, although it's like the toss in the opening, but yep, continue. So bishop b3, rook c8, um, yeah, and then, nice yeah, rook e1. Uh, <clears throat> to be honest, I thought during the game that black didn't, sorry, white didn't really have any clear ideas in this position. The only idea that white might have is somehow to make the, again, the battery work, mm -hmm. but uh, it never happened. And the right. pawn on d5 is just, you know, blocking the, the bishop, and that was actually the whole idea of playing e5. Um, and then, yeah, queen f5, I'm just trying to, you know, mm -hmm. play a natural move, uh, developing everything, improving the pieces, and after knight e4, takes, takes, and then in this position, I had, I had two options uh, on how to exchange the knight with, whether with this bishop, or the dark square bishop, or the light square bishop. And I decided to go with the light, light square bishop because I knew this bishop on d6 is a perfect piece to block the block pawn. Knight, yeah. And also at some point I had a future idea of pushing all the pawns and then uh, this bishop on d6 will be a very dangerous bishop, you know, with the, all this uh, wow. diagonal from b8 to h2. And yeah, it happened in the game. So bishop f5, uh, a4, f5, uh, and then I, I took it first. Bishop takes e4, rook takes e4, and then queen, 
Queen D8. Queen D8, yeah. And now the idea is very simple. I just want to play F5. F5, yeah. F5, E4, and that's it. So he only had one move here with G4 um, to stop F5. But this move is a bit awkward. I mean, the rook is not perfectly placed. No. It has to be like somewhere on the E file. But OK, this is, this is a desperate measure to stop F5. So I play queen f6 here. I'm not too hurry with the f5 because okay, it's not possible at the moment. Uh, but I had I had some other ideas to make it work in the future. So after here, bishop c3, I think it is also another mistake uh, because now it allows my knight to have Come a to really f4. good outpost on f4. And after the queen moves, the queen has to keep on this diagonal. Otherwise, I can just move my queen and then and then play f5 in the end. So in this position, I think it's already strategically winning for black because I have h5 here and I and whatever you do, I just move my queen on h6 and then f5 is unstoppable because I have another additional idea uh, of a fork on e2. So the, the queen cannot really move it to f5. Yeah. Yes. So I think, mm -hmm. I think in this position already, whatever uh, what does it's already winning for me? So the game continued with rook e1, and I just oops, uh, yep, rook e1, f5, and then queen a4, and then yeah, h4, and then just uh, kicking all the pieces away, and then e4. So this was the pawn storm that I was talking about, and then yeah, even if she even if he moved rook e3, I have an idea of queen g3 attacking mate yeah. in one or probably you know if g3 i can take on h3 it's just yeah. another idea it plays like, itself yeah yeah it will mm -hmm. it will be yeah like that so he after e4 took on f4 but this is already just lost i mean uh i can basically play um any other moves yeah. um yeah. yeah this is this is very yeah. comfortable for black okay thanks very much thank you